Former Sabah Infrastructure Development Minister Datuk Peter Anthony was sentenced to three years jail and fined 50,000 ringgit by the Kuala Lumpur Sessions Court on Thursday. This was after he was found guilty of using false documents relating to a system maintenance contract nine years ago. Judge Azura Alwi ordered for the jail time to run from Thursday and also for Peter to serve an additional 15 months in jail if he failed to pay the fine. Azura allowed for a stay of execution on the jail time but ordered for the fine to be paid on Thursday. Earlier in her ruling, the judge said the prosecution had proven its case beyond a reasonable doubt while Peter's defense was merely a denial, inconsistent and an afterthought. Peter's lawyer S. Devanandan said his client would file an appeal against the jail sentence at the High Court soon. Okay, hari ini telah uh, ditetapkan dan uh, kita serahkan kepada peguam untuk uh, membuat rayuan ataupun keputusan telah dibuat. Jadi, boleh dia dibuat dengan judgement. Jadi, kita, kita akan buat rayuan untuk my lawyers dan uh, kita tengok. Peter was charged in his capacity as Managing Director of Syarikat Asli Jati Sundaran Berhad with forging a letter from the Office of University Malaysia Sabah Deputy Vice-Chancellor dated June 9, 2014 by inserting a false statement with the intention of using it for fraudulent purposes. The offence was allegedly committed at the office of the Prime Minister's Principal Private Secretary in Putrajaya between June 13 and August 21, 2014. The charge was framed under Section 468 of the Penal Code, which provides for imprisonment of up to seven years and a fine if found guilty.